How's it going guys and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to share with you how to set up the advanced voice chat stream kit known as Reactive Fuji Tech. The website is reactive.fuji.tech. This has been used a lot by big streamers, so it's 100% safe, don't worry about it. Most of the time you have to re-log in again to edit stuff in it. Going from the simple stream kit to something like this, where you can see my profile picture right there. So. To get started, first log in to the Reactive Fuji Tech website with your account. Whenever you have logged in, you can edit your own profile without being in voice chat. If you want to add other people, you have to have them in VC to edit their images for your streams or video content that includes that. So let's check out what you can customize on your profile in voice chat. It is very easy to understand, so you can choose all the voice chats available or apart with each browser link available here. Something I recommend is to turn off names and make a custom image with the name of the person that you're doing a collab with if you aren't using webcams. This will give you more freedom to customizing it. First, if you don't want yourself in this one, this is one of the best features. You can remove yourself from the virtual voice chat if you only want to show the ones you're doing a collab with. Next, you can decide if you want to bounce or crossfade effect when people are talking. You can also choose if you want your image to dim with low opacity when you are not talking. And we have the dim others, which you can use to have it only show others dim while you don't. Lowest on the checkboxes, we have show names. This option can be very confusing, and I wish there was more ways to customize it. Next up, we have the image alignment, which will align images of the people to the left, center, right, and group. Image spacing is also very important, depending on how you want the voice to look in your layout. All these settings can be applied easily we apply button. Now I will tell you how custom images work. First, you can set the inactive image, then you can also set the speaking image. As you can see, there are links that you would put in a browser source. One is for the full group talking, and one is for each user that includes the name of the user, so you can separate them for custom layouts. I hope this helped you guys. Yeah, hope you guys use this in the future, because it makes your layout look a lot better compared to the original stream kit and I highly recommend you guys drop a bunch of suggestions to the ones who made this thing because it's a very cool thing that should be around. It will be very cool if they add more features to it to customize things a lot more because there's a lot of stuff I am missing personally. I want to be able to move the text. I want the text to be outside the image and not on top of it because that would make it so much easier or at least have it so you can put the names to the side of the image. That's not an option right now. But hopefully in the future when you're seeing this, please let me know. And that's it for this video. Did you guys learn anything new? Make sure you guys drop a like on this video and share the video with your friends to help out this tutorial. Because I think a lot of people need to know about this. Because not a lot of people I see talk too much about it and how easy it is to do. So yeah.